I'm just taken aback about how the country is becoming divided over this health care thing, and I'm, I'm, I sort of thought this racism, is, well, I always knew it existed, but I didn't think they pull off the sheets, so to speak, <laughs> the way they're doing. You think it's racist? Oh, yes, because most of the people that are out there know better off than I am protesting against health care reform. And they probably, I imagine, had the majority of them don't even have health care insurance, or they have one about comparable to what I have. What and you got? I have Humana, and it's basically they are in charge. They determine the length of stay when I go to the hospital rather than the doctor. It's not so much in their hands. They did Determine what kind of equipment that basically I need. The doctor can suggest, but then they, it's on. It's like a debate. Really? Mm -hmm, because the doctor suggested I get a electric wheelchair, and he said he'd do everything he could to get it. But he didn't say go get an electric wheelchair because he knows who he's dealing with. What about medicine? Medicine usually is like whatever the doctor prescribes, they got a generic. Or I've had a doctor prescribe a, an allergy pill. Humana calls me and tells me that there's a step that they have before they pay for this medicine. Is that I need to take what they suggest first to see if that works before. If that doesn't, then they'll pay for the next one. Mm. But it, we ended you up know, it, it re, I, be, I didn't want to fool with and keep going back and forth, so I just forgot about it because I have seasonal allergies. Mm. So I didn't want to put that much time in it. Mm. Are the medicines cheap? No, the prices are outrageous. But I find, I find that the drug companies have their prices and then they have insurance companies work out deals with the drug companies. It's just a racket. <laughs> like, they put prices, you know, like, I just took a seven-day, uh, there were seven pills mm -hmm. for antibiotic, and those seven pills, according to them, cost $437. And I had out-of-pocket expenses for those seven pills, 30 some. Wow. Co-payment. Mm-hmm. Ordinarily, my co-payments are five and ten dollars. Mm-hmm. Even when it's not a generic. Mm -hmm. But if I should choose to have a name brand rather than a generic, mm -hmm. then I pay more. Mm. My co-payment is higher. Mm. Okay. If you get the generic, it's five dollars. Mm -hmm. On some, it's some it's ten. Okay. But if I choose to get the brand, it, it could possibly be a third of the cost of the brand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, oh wow! Know, something like that, a percentage cost of the brand rather than what I imagine they're calculating is what it would cost for the generic, and I pay the difference. What about at-home services? Anything that involves somebody coming to your house? The insurance has a co-case. They have a certain network of providers. That, and I, I'm having trouble with the home service. My doctor had is at one at the hospital that I spent a couple of days they did blood work and found I had 
vitamin B12 deficiency, and so he prescribed me taking a pill once, I mean a shot once a month. Those instructions followed me to Health South, mm -hmm. and when I was discharged from Health South, the doctor just listed it on my list of prescriptions. Mm -hmm. There was no need to, at the time, because it was self-injected, but I, I can't, get, I've never given myself shots, so I didn't mm -hmm. want to do that. So I informed the provider of the home services that I needed help with that three weeks ago, and last week they informed me that they have the instructions, they have the orders. So mm -hmm. a nurse will come out. Excuse me for a minute. Mm -hmm. A nurse will come out. The nurse come out prepared Monday to give me an injection. But I, what I didn't know, she didn't have the B12 with her. I I was supposed to get it filled. So she said she'd come back Tuesday. When she calls Tuesday, she said she can't give me a shot because she didn't have the orders. And I wonder what happened to the orders from Monday to Tuesday. But they you as a patient have to deal with all this. Mm -hmm. I'm still dealing with it. She told me she would be back today. She didn't come today. And then I called the place and they said she's not listed to come, scheduled to come today. But no one told me. They just, she didn't call me or no one at the office told me this. I had to come and find out, and I spent the better part of the morning, all morning, in fact, waiting on it. I just had to call and find out. So, it's, um, I don't have a choice with this home health services because I don't, I have additional out-of-pocket to get out of network. And these people, what do you mean out-of-network services? Aren't there home health in the network services? Yeah, there are just two available to me because I'm from uh, Kentucky. Are they in this area? Yes, but I have to start all over, and there would be additional cost charges because they've already started this project. They come out doing an initial, I don't call it examination, they call it examination. They, it was, they interviewed me. So I have to, I'm, I'm only limited to 60 visits. So, so far, I, at this point in it, they've used up maybe 12 or 15. 60 visits a year? Mm -hmm. 60 visits a year? Yes. That's um, just over one visit a week. Sixty visits a year, and that includes all the people from their home health service that have given me service. Wow. So, and so far it's been, I have two therapists, a social worker that's come out here, and an aide which helped me personally, like help me with a bath. Mm -hmm. and, um, so each one of those counts? Each one, each time. So you couldn't like have a bath every... Big, uh, she comes twice a week. Mm. 